Hey YouTube, Carfight Calgary here today, and I have Sean here with his uh, Celestial deck that he built when Set 11 came out. Uh, apparently, it won him the winner box that we didn't record because apparently there was no final match. So, <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, uh, let's get started. All right. So I start with this card. Uh, this is basically your starter. It's basically Celestial's only starter. Its effect is um, you put this unit to your soul, and you can superior card superior call any Celestial from your damage zone, and uh, and then you take you put you take the top card of your deck and put it to your damage zone face down. So that is really good because it gives you the option of switching, and Celestials don't really have much switching going on so it's like no CL is not really yeah basically it. but it's a little bit better to me. Right. so uh, I run four huge triggers and uh, I, I chose to run two of this instead of all four Celestials just because I have the option of you know putting yes. them back to my deck sending it back yeah. and I just run two with the name just because I get a special counter blast so yeah. that's my heals I run um, five draw triggers so similar like the heal triggers, I run these two, just in case I have an um, odd number of damage, um, these can still give my Vanguard 3000, yeah. so I can't, if I can't a special counter blast, and same reason to have the name, so I run that, and uh, I run 6 crits, um, right now Celestials only have um, 4 like well, yes. one one kind of draw crit stand and it's like the base sale. Yeah. yeah, so that's why I have to run that. I rarely ever use the effect, but yeah, it's there. <laughs> yeah, so I tech in one stand because late game is really good, especially for um, your grade two twelve k beater when Zerakio's damage, like when Zerakio has a limit break. And, and plus it switches out, right? Yeah, it, it also gives me an option of switching, so I, this is really good and very situational, but very useful. Yeah. I run one more of the grade zero, not as the starter, because like I said, Celestials have not much switching to do, so this will basically give you option of like taking things from your damage zone, because you can't always rely on using your no CL, so I run two starters. Okay. And for grade ones, I run four perfect guards, yeah. just because if they even if you damage check them, people would think like, oh, it's angel feathers, damage zone is your second hand, but you cannot always get them because you know this yeah. you won't want to use this effect because Especially it only causes swapping. Yeah, so it doesn't yeah. swap. So you need to have four. Uh, I run three of the 10k beater. These are for early game rush. And they become 10k boosters with Seracus limit break. Yeah. So they're still really good, no matter what. I run for Underlay Celestial Hasadio. This these are your 12k beaters basically. So their effect is the unit gain this unit gains 3000 when you have a face up solidified Celestial Zaraki in your damage zone. So they are 9k before limit break, 12k with limit break. So they're really, just really dumb. Yeah, so they create huge <laughs> columns. I run two battle cube in no sales, just so I can switch during during um uh, damage phase and stuff yeah. or battle phase. And Utility, right? Yeah, it, it also helps me put Zeraku in my damage zone if, if it's in my hand. Now I run four uh, Candlelight Celestial Sariel. These are the main great tools you have to run. Some people can run three, it's fine, but I prefer four just because I have like one or two games that I just never got Zeraku in my damage zone, which is really gay. And <laughs> That limit break just don't go off, so it's so useless, so I chose to run 4. Right. And these things can go really well with the starter, just because if they're in the damage, you can use the starter to call them back out, and then it's counter blast 2 basically to get a Zeraku to your damage and a unit to your field, so it's really good. Alright. I run 3 of the 10k meters. They become 13k after a limit break, and uh, that's just there. They're basically the great tools I want to ride. Just because they, they don't try have to right? yeah. They can get beat. <laughs> I run four uh, wild shot celestial ragdoll. These are your 12k beaters, and they uh, they hurt with limit break. They're 15k on their own. So if you get like the stand trigger, they become 20k, and they just like wreck 10k vanguards. In this and you know, burning horn OP. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> in grade three lineup, I run four break rides. So four ray meals. Just because uh, break rides, break rides. <laughs> it doesn't hurt to have uh, 
8 great 3s in this deck all that much only because if you run this, this card, even late game when you have Zerak in your damage, these cards can bring the great 3s to your damage so you don't de dr uh, damage check them or you don't um, yeah. You know, uh, twin drive them. So. Oh, and then um, since break rights are kind of a new thing in the English format. Yeah, explore. and because they're a new thing, not many clans have break rights. This basically puts them like on a really high tier because right now there's only break rights for Narukami, Go Paladin, Bermudas, Aqua Force, and uh, Kagero and Angel Feathers. So these are really good. So their effect is basically when you, when a great three rides over them, you take a card. <laughs> zone, put it to your hand, and the top card of your deck goes to your damage zone face up. So it's basically a free unflipper, and it gives you pluses all around. Like, it's just, it's really simple, but it's really good. And finally, you have four solidified Celestial Zeracule. This is your main vanguard, and this is by far one of the strongest, like, I don't know, great threes in Angel Feathers right now. And so its effect is Limit Break 4. Uh, when you have a unit name, when you have this unit in your damage and you have this as your vanguard, it basically gives all your other rearguards with Celestial in your name 3000 power. So that creates like 6k columns on everything. 6k more, I mean. Yeah. So, yeah, so perfect setups basically, like even if you have this in your front and if you have uh, this at behind it, it'll still be a 26 column. It'll still be asking for 20k guard for most decks if they don't cross ride. And this would create 27k. This is just for MLB. Okay. <laughs> Still 20k. So yeah, it's really good. Alright. So yeah, that's it. So that's basically that. Uh, thank you, Sean, for sharing with everyone. And as always, until next time, YouTube.